My son's first uh, word was guitar, and and um, he was a kid who, um, you know, he was in, you know, special ed schools that had some kind of learning differences and stuff like that. And but when you'd put a guitar in his hand, all of a sudden he was a, like a different person. It was really kind of uh, remarkable. Even before he could play, he used to have me. I used to draw him pictures of guitars. And then eventually, I started having to make them out of cardboard. Um, so I'd c cut out these tiny little guitars, and he'd just say, guitar, 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 guitar. And I was constantly, constantly making these things. And then what would happen is, if I hadn't braced them enough with like a, 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 you know, a popsicle stick or whatever, the neck would break, and he'd be in hysterics <laughs> and just throwing a complete tantrum. And then I'd have to make them more. And every time we went someplace, he would see one. And it was really a, like a crazy kind of obsession. Michael was in a band with my sister. Uh, used to rehearse in our basement a jug band, where they had uh, you know washboard and uh, uh, washtub bass and kazoo, jug, kazoo, banjo, yeah. quadri quintet. And uh, it's kind of a highbrow name for a joke. It's probably it. Yeah. Plus, in fact, that we were that young coming up with Quandry and Quintet. Okay. But the funny thing about it is our mother was this uh, very Victorian woman from New York City. And we would pour over these old records. We'd buy these old Folkways records of jug bands from the 30s. And we'd find these songs. And we would learn them for the, with the jug band. And then my mother would censor them if she didn't think it was appropriate for her sister Hilda to sing it. So I'm, one particular was called 38 Slug. And Hilda's there wailing, and mama called a 38 Slug. And my mother was really reading in all sorts of uh, sexual innuendo in that, and that was off the list. We could have been contenders. We could have been stars with 38 Slug. I'm sure of it. Brings to mind Mississippi John Hurt, who um, he played a guitar similar to, I don't think he had a hummingbird, he probably had a J45 or J50, and he was the exponent of the independent thumb, which is the hardest kind of guitar style because it's not so hard to do this, but to sing and do this, So he would, my Creole bill, I love her well, my darling baby, my Creole bill. And then he, when he played his solo, he would always say, come on, Miss Gibson. And uh, he used to, I used to go to the Philadelphia Folk Festival, and he would just be out there wandering around, talking to people. And uh, I can't get enough of his records. To me, he's the ultimate. And I have a song on the new record. It's called A Road We Know Too Well, which, again, independent thumb, having to sing. But to me, that exploits the guitar for everything you can do, which is play bass, play drums, play lead, and play keyboard parts. That's what, to me, was the ultimate. And Mississippi was the master of that. I could spend the rest of my life, I'd never be able to play that. I used to do it. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's funny that you mentioned that, the rhythm thing, because having started out with um, percussion, and, uh, you know, I don't really think so much melodically. I can't really play any kind of... So, like, in a funny kind of way, for me, guitar is a little bit of a drum. It's, I, I, I think of it sort of like a, as a drum that has chords in it, you know? And that's always, like, when I, when I write, if I'm thinking about writing, it's always like... Like the, I, I'm always thinking, like, what's the what's the, what, what's the rhythm that's coming? This song is called "Old Guitars." We didn't write it because we were, knew we were coming here, <laughs> just as a coincidence. And it's kind of a uh, a thank you to all of the um, 
songwriters and uh, singers and all the, uh, a lot of the music that has kind of like influenced us and become the soundtracks of our lives.